Hi, dear professor and classmate. We are Group Five. Our topic is child neglect abuse. Hope you guys enjoy. First of all, we're going to talk about what's the ACE service. The ACE survey, also known as the Adverse Childhood Experiences Survey, is one of the largest investigations of childhood abuse and neglect. And household challenges, and later life health and well-being. Aces are potentially traumatic experiences, such as abuse, neglect, experiencing or witnessing violence, and having a family member attempt or die by suicide, which occurs in childhood, birth to 17. That can affect children for years and impact their life opportunities. It's a survey or research tool, not a diagnostic tool. It provides insights into the universality and impact of adverse childhood experiences on health outcomes, but cannot be used to determine individual specific risks or diagnose them. This survey raises awareness of the long-term impact. Of childhood trauma and provides information for the development of intervention measures and policies to prevent and mitigate these experiences. Social determinants of health. The social determinants of health are the non-medical factors that influence health outcomes. They are the conditions in which people are born, grow, work, live, and age, and the wider set forces and systems shaping the conditions of daily life. These forces and systems include economic policies and systems, development agendas, social norms, social policies, and political systems. Factors include physical attributes related to place, social participation patterns, and even a person's sense of security and happiness. Overall, they can affect health, function, and quality of life. The interaction of social determinants of health issues, including healthcare, education, housing, employment, and decision making, has a cumulative impact on individuals and communities. It can exacerbate health inequality and disparities, as certain populations may face greater obstacles and challenges in accessing resources and achieving optimal health. Addressing these determinants requires cross-departmental collaboration to promote health、e、equity and improve overall population health. Aspects of this area, what we are discussing, neglect should be distinguished from physical abuse. Child neglect is by far the most common form of child maltreatment. Neglect is by far the most common form of child maltreatment. Approximately two thirds of reports to child protective services involve neglect. Nearly three in four children, or three million, three hundred million children aged two to four years, regularly suffer physical punishment and/or psychological violence at the hands of parents and caregivers. Fortunately, we can prevent ACEs, and we can educate parents, communities, and policymakers, policymakers about how to help children grow up in a safe and stable environment. Why is this important for ECEC professionals to understand? Individual family and community factors can affect the likelihood of these experiences, but they may or may not be direct a cause of ACEs. Every educator hopes that all children will grow up in a good environment without any negative factors that may interfere with their growth. ECEC professionals have a legal and ethical responsibility to ensure the safety and well-being of the children in their care. Recognizing and reporting suspected cases of neglect is essential. For protecting children from further harm and facilitating appropriate interventions, as ECEC professionals, 
Neglected children are prone to developing unhealthy personalities. An independent and good personality is the most important for children. We give. Our children enough love and security to make their hearts rich and have enough support. But if children are not are not seen for a long time and are ignored in everything they do, they will like warmth in their hearts. A child without love and、uh, nourishment in their heart is very detrimental to their physical and mental development in the long run. It's easy to cause negative personality and even psychological problems. For future cooperative families, it's important to value early education for children. The care of people around plays a crucial role in order to promote a healthy and comprehensive development of children. Families should not neglect their children. An attentive gaze. A positive smile and a warm embrace from those around them will bring stability and harmonious development to children. Why we choose this topic? When searching for academic resources, it was found that neglect of、uh, Companies' physical abuse, child abuse, and neglect tend to be labeled under the general term maltreatment. Which can be misleading because these two forms of maltreatment are different in nature and have different outcome trajectories. To a large extent, exploring the importance of neglect separate from physical maltreatment has been ignored in the child maltreatment literature. Based on personal at childhood, my parents and many caregivers of my peers would choose to place us in boarding school due to busy work schedules. Due to my long-term independent collective life, I have attempted to communicate my unhappiness,、uh, unhappiness of difficulties with parents or educators, but they did not provide me with sufficient feedback and support. After continuous lack of attention and response, I began to develop negative emotions, unwilling to actively communicate, and developed a lack a lack of confidence and self doubt throughout the entire process. No one committed violent acts, but I was unable to resolve the emptiness and helplessness in my heart at that time. Does this look like? Defines child abuse and neglect as, at a minimum, a caregiver act or failure to act that results in death, th- serious physical or emotional harm, sexual abuse or exploitation, or presents in imminent risk risk of serious harm. For us, we believe that children should be seen and valued by people. Long-term neglect of children can have a significant impact on their physical and mental well-being. In a family or origin, not only parents but also other relatives who rarely see their children will have no confidence to fight against anyone. For example, often neglecting children can also lead to their introverted. Introverted personalities. Before children enter collective life, they spend most of their time with their families. But if the family doesn't play the role of children's playmates well, they often ignore them or let them play on their own. They can easily lead to children developing introverted or withdrawn personalities. At the same time, neglect can have substantial and long-term effects on children's physical and mental health and cognitive development. Examples include facilities, impaired brain development, and adult problems such as liver and、uh, ischemic heart disease. Neglect also has been associated with Inferior academic performance, em- emotional and behavioral problems, as well as depression and suicidality, d- decades later. What population might this impact or affect? Parent, mother's mental health issues, especially depression and drug abuse, are related to neglect. Neglect. The limited involvement of fathers in their children's lives can also be seen as negligence.
或者 child characteristics such as low birth weight, premature birth, or disability may pose challenges to parents and lead to ne- neglect. For this type of children, parents are not the type who will actively ignore them. Although parents have made appropriate efforts, the behavior of older children may be difficult. Family. Intimate partner violence and child abuse often occur simultaneously. Children need to feel safe and secure at home rather than afraid or threatened. How is this re- relevant to an easy easy context? Easy easy professionals often spend a significant amount of time with children and have the opportunity to observe their behaviors, interactions, and overall development. They are in a unique per- position to identify signs and symptoms of neglect. Early、uh, early identification allows for prompt intervention and support to mitigate the negative effects. Of neglect and provide necessary resources to the child and family. ECEC professionals can serve as advocates for children experiencing neglect. They can collaborate with child protection agencies, social workers, and other relevant professionals to report suspected neglect and ensure that appropriate interventions are implemented. ECEC centers can also provide resources, ref- refer- referrals, and support to families experiencing challenges that contribute to neglect, such as connecting them to community services, parenting programs, or or counseling. ECEC centers have a responsibility to ensure the well-being of the children in their care and play a crucial role in promoting the overall well-being of the child. Also, ECEC professional can work collaboratively with families to address the underlying issues contributing to neglect by for by. Fostering open communication, providing resources, and offering support. ECEC centers can assist families in accessing community services, improving their parenting skills, and creating a safe and nurturing home environment for their children. What prevention measures do we suggest? Home visiting programs that provide regular visits by trained professionals to families with young children can be effective in preventing neglect. These programs offer support, guidance, and resources to parents, promoting positive parent-child interactions and early childhood development, and connecting families to community services. Economy instability and poverty are risk factors for neglect. Implementing policies and interventions that address poverty, increase access to education and employment opportunities, and provide financial support to families can help prevent neglect by reducing the stress stressors and challenges faced by parents. Impact on family environment on children is still very significant. A good family environment can give children an outgoing personality and optimistic attitude, so that they will be more optimistic and simple when dealing the dealing with things in the future. It's important to know that these prevention measures are most effective when implemented in a coordinated and integrated manner. Involving collaboration between ECEC professionals, social services, healthcare providers, community community organizations, and policymakers, by combining these evidence-based prevention strategies, we can create a supportive environment that promotes the well-being and safety of children, reducing the occurrence of neglect. Here is our case study. This family moved to. Amler a year ago and started studying in Golden Child Care Center within a week of moving in. During this period, his her teacher and school staff noticed signs of neglect. Celia's teachers and school staffs observed signs of her overall health and care being neglected. Celia often bring dirty and unwashed clothes to school. Which indicated that she is not paying attention to personal hygiene. 
She often looks very hungry and has difficulty con concentrating due to hung hunger. Celia is very resistant to peer interaction because she often runs to hidden places to hide when her peers approach her or someone is talking loudly. She will all avoid asking educators to help handle minor injuries caused by avoidance. In addition, Celia's academic performance may be decreased due to a lack of stable and supportive family environment. School staff attempted to address Alan and Kelly's concerns through open communication. However, their efforts were met with defense and minimal cooperation. Recognizing the severity of the situation, school staff decided to involve re relevant child protection agencies to ensure Celia's safety and well-being. For conclusion part, what did you learn about ACEs and the social determinants of health in general? We have learned that adverse childhood experiences, which means ACEs, are potentially traumatic events that occur during childhood and have long-lasting effects on an individual's physical and mental health. Furthermore, ACEs are strongly influenced by social determinants of health. Factors such as socioeconomic status, education, employment, housing, access to health care, community resources, and social support networks all play a crucial role in shaping the health and well-being of individuals and communities. By addressing issues and social determinants of health, we can work towards creating supportive environments, implementing evidence-based interventions, and advocating for policies, policies that promote health equity and reduce the negative impact of adversity on individuals and communities. In the content of child neglect, I have learned that neglect refers to a failure of provide for child based needs including physical, emotional, medical, and educational needs. Child neglect is by far the most common form of child maltreatment. It involves a pendant of inattendance or discard for a child well-being by the caregiver, resulting in harm of potential harm to the child's healthy and development. Moreover, I have learned that child neglect is often associated with various risk, risk factors and underlying issues like parental state abuse and mental health issues. Neglect children may experience physical health problems, developmental delay, poor academic performance social and emotional difficult cultures. We have learned from this experience that neglecting is detriment to the healthy growth and development of young children themselves. They have negative psychological states of lack of confidence, assertivity, and society. In addition, Neglected young children are always in a passive fashion in their living environment, leading to lack of experience interact with others, which seriously affect their own development in all aspects. Children's emotional needs should also be valued. Caregiver meet the emotional assessments and needs of children with more care and companionship in order to make them feel respect and loved. And also it is necessary to pay attention to the family and contribute to more home visits. Can help educator better understanding the children's personality, behaviors and family states and take more help for, for children and families.